The next step in our avatar is to open up our picture. We had taken pictures of ourselves this, um, at the beginning of this class, and we took them on purpose without glasses and without a smile. So what we're going to do is go ahead and open those pictures. So go to File, Open. Go to Computer, and those are stored in the S drive. Video Web and More. Student Photos folder. Depending on how they open and how you want to view them, you can always change how you're looking at them by this one icon. Um, you can look at the list, but I find it much easier to look at the them by icon. So here's large icons, so I can see who I'm looking at. You can look at them even larger if you want. I'm going to open up myself and click open. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put them side by side. I call that tiling. That's also called arranging. We discussed in class, um, there's a couple different ways of doing this. One way is going to the window menu to arrange and then tile. I like to use uh, the top menu bar and it's a second one in from the right. And I'm going to click on this and I'm going to um, use the two up choice. So they're going to be side by side. I need to remove the background on my picture. Um, I think probably the easiest way for me to do this one is to use the quick selection tool. So I am going to use uh, um, click on the quick selection tool and um, select myself. Remember, if you get a little too much, you can always use the Alt key and bring it in. I'll probably still need to take care of a little bit of this um, before I'm done with it all. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to inverse because if I would go ahead and delete what I um, have selected now, it's going to delete me and I don't want to do that. For example, if I do that, it would delete me. I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to edit undo, clear. And I'm going to go up to select and inverse selection. So what that just did is it inversed what was selected and now I can delete. What that just did is that left a white background though and I really don't want a white background. So I need to get rid of that white background. I'm gonna go ahead and control D or deselect and I'm going to use the magic eraser. So I'm going over to the left hand side to the eraser tool. I'm going to right click and make sure I'm on the magic eraser tool. And I'm going to left or left click and get rid of that background. I still may need to remove a little bit of that background, but we'll take a look at it when I pull that over on the black. So I'm going to click on the arrow, and I am going to drag myself over onto the black background.
if I want to make myself a little bigger, I can. Remember, that would be um, edit, free transform. Hold down your shift button to do it proportionally. Hit enter when you're done. And then you can still use the arrow to kind of position yourself where you want to be. Go ahead and close your picture. I do not save it with the background removed. But I will now save my avatar picture. File, save. You could also, um, not sure what I was thinking, never mind. 